Everyone who has ever experienced the death of a loved one knows the feeling. The pain ebbs and flows, but the ache never really goes away. God himself knows, for he lost his own son to the cruel clutches of death. However, we have discovered something that hurts even more than death, watching a loved one walk away from God. Renee and I here at It Is Written Canada receive one prayer request more than any other. Please pray for my children. These parents are crushed. Why are we losing so many of our children and grandchildren? What can we do to stem the tide of our young people leaving our churches? Only God can raise the dead. And so we are like Ezekiel, standing in a valley of dry bones, which the Lord identifies as his people who say, our bones are dry, our hope is lost, and we ourselves are cut off. But he replies, O oh my people, I will open your graves and cause you to come up from your graves. Then you shall know that I am the Lord. When I have opened your graves, O oh my people, and brought you up from your graves, I will put my spirit in you, and you shall live. Then you shall know that I, the Lord, have spoken it and performed it. I think you will agree with us that it's now time for action. It's time for God's people to unite in prayer. For he has promised, if my people who are called by my name will humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways, then I will hear from heaven and I will forgive their sin and heal their land. Jesus knows what we are up against. As the world's redeemer, Christ was constantly confronted with apparent failure. He, the messenger of mercy to our world, seemed to do little of the work he longed to do in uplifting and saving. Satanic influences were constantly working to oppose his way, but he would not be discouraged. Do not be discouraged. Jesus relentlessly pursues each one who is dead and trespasses and sins, working to break the spell of the evil one and set the captive free. Whether your children are one or 51, they are still your children. Mike and I sense the Lord guiding us to facilitate a Canada-wide call to prayer for our children. And the Seventh-day Adventist Church in Canada has set aside September 30th to October 7th for this purpose. We would like to ask you and your local church family to set aside this time to pray and to fast if the Lord puts that on your heart for our children who have given up on God, for he has not given up on them. He loves our children and he has promised us, I will contend with your opponent and I will save your children. What a promise. So if you would like to join us and pray for our children who have left the fold, please check out iiw.ca and join us each evening live on YouTube and Facebook at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time to pray for our children.